Amen. Come on, I want to see. Are we here? No, I don't know. Eh, go see. Are we here? No, I don't Thank you so, so much for this day that God has created and given us the opportunity. Is the hour and the minute. Now, here comes our pastor, the doctor. She is our doctor. Doctor in the house. Doctor Sukhunda Shalala from Batik South. Welcome, doctor. Man of God. Pastor. Thank you so much. Doctor, thank you. Doctor Webby. Uh, we thank God for being here at this hour. It's not uh, an accident. It was for ordained by God that at this time we will be here. So we thank God that we are here. And as a part of this facility, I say thank you so much for coming and welcome to be with us this evening as we celebrate, as we say thanks to God for what He has given us ability to accomplish where we are waiting for His coming. Father and God in heaven, we thank you for this occasion that our brother, Pastor, has gone through these academic challenges. Now, a time has come to say thank you for what he has achieved. And all of us, we have been given time, we have time, we have wealth, we have knowledge. And now God is saying we have to benefit other people. We have to bless other people with whatever we have. Now we pray that our brother and pastor may benefit others with the knowledge he has now. Thank you for this occasion. For this, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Our uh, speeches. Educational history, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, I stand before you to present a beautiful story of a person who, despite his humble beginnings, has patiently navigated a Bambi road to achieve his endowed educational dreams. I'm therefore humbled to celebrate him as a scholar in his own right, who has, by God's grace, fought a good fight and has set a good example to the coming generation. We recognize that this is a forum to highlight 
his educational accomplishments by God's grace. Uh, despite growing up in a very humble background, Dr. Pastor Ombati was determined to follow his dreams. Upon his successful completion of high school studies, Dr. Ombati proceeded to the University of Arusha for his bachelor's degree in theology. Because of the unfavorable climatical conditions, Dr. Ombati moved to Bugama University in Kampala, Uganda, where he graduated with a bachelor's degree in theology. After serving for a couple of years as a gospel minister in the Seventh-day Adventist Church at the Amira Conference, Dr. Pastor Ombati proceeded to Egerton University Jara Campus to pursue a master's degree in guidance and counseling. Dr. Ombati relentlessly continued to pursue his studies after immigrating to the United States. He enrolled and graduated with a master's degree in theology from Cam Bell's Dale University. Soon after his graduation from Cardinal University, he proceeded to Texas A&M University Commerce, where he graduated with a master's degree in social work. As a climax of his academic endeavors, Dr. Bagombati's dream finally came to when he enrolled at Texas Women's University, where he has been pursuing a PhD degree. We are grateful to God that he has successfully completed his PhD studies and graduated yesterday with a Doctor of Philosophy degree in Sociology. In a nutshell, the following is Dr. Pastor Ombati's academic achievement summary. The first one, Bachelor of Theology degree from Bugema University in Uganda. The second is Master's Degree in Guidance and Counseling, Degree from Egerton University, Kenya. The third is Master's Degree in Theology, Campbellsville University, Kentucky, United States. The fourth is Master's Degree in Social Work, Texas A&M University, Commerce. The fifth is the Doctor of Philosophy Degree in Sociology, Specialization in Criminology and Social Science Research, um, Texas Women's University Dental. Certainly, the completion of his academic journey has ushered in the start of another journey. To faithfully serve God and give back to humanity. We pray for him that God may use him for the honor and glory of his name. Brothers and sisters, let's celebrate one of our own, Dr. Pastor Josiah Umbati. For his academic milestone. Uh, congratulations, Dr. Pastor Ubati, and praise be to God. I don't like it. I'm going to go to the house. Oh, man. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to My name is Christopher Kenyansa. And I'm now welcoming you all on behalf of the church, Amazing Grace Seventh-day Adventist, Ulysses, where Dr. Pastor Pombati has been ministering as a pastor, but now God has upgraded him up to be a doctor. Before I proceed on, I'd like to bring and introduce my fellow uh, colleague leaders, Elders from Amazing, can you please stand up? The Elijah Nyangwezo, can you salute please? Hi, hi, welcome. Uh, Elder Victor Mabuka. Uh, uh, there is uh, Elder, another one from the other side. Can you please, Elder Magara, I think most of you are conversing. Can you shout? Because he's eating, uh, he, he's going to go. Hey, man, Christopher, can you answer? Give a round of uh, applause, please. Mr. Choke. Yeah, Mr. Choke. So, next in line, we are going to have Claire Lumumba. Wherever you are, Claire, kindly, if you can come and uh, give us a. Thanks so much. Um, 
I am so proud to see all these doctors here. But I think we need more doctors up here, right? <laughs> we need them to be like 20 lined up here. So you all look so good. And to our newest uh, doctor in town, Pastor Dr. Josiah Mbati, we are so very proud of you. Everybody, let the door get in to get there. Because at the water, Kukula, Masaya Kukula in Asia. Ene Jiro, Ene Jiro. We meet a very smart club. King of King, yeah. Pa, 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 pa. Okay, let's start. Three, go. Okay. Right there. I need the action. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Why well, you know, yeah. uh, I, I want to start by saying that uh, I'm a professional teacher. And as a professional teacher, I was taught that. I don't give other students a part while I'm teaching other students in front of me. We are, we are the sheep. Pastor is our shepherd. Immediately as he came out of college with a new room. You understand what a new room is? Out of college with a new room. He came to our district known as the Kong District. Youths who are here, please follow this example. That is only what I can say. May God bless you and uh, do your work as you have been doing, and we shall remain to be your sheep. You will be our shepherd. Thank you so much. <laughs> The one who is speaking is uh, Professor Ronald Wanda. I thank uh, my wife for calling me Professor in the house. Thank you so much. Pastor, congratulations. You have made us uh, proud uh, 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 as friends from Oklahoma. Pastor, thank you. Congratulations so much for gathering us here on a very beautiful occasion. And uh, I see the crowd up here supporting you. It's a great encouragement. Congratulations. I don't have much to say. It's quite a little bit honoring to be here again and thank you and congratulations our uh, pastor Mbachi for what you've done.
graduating has achieved but because I'm able to see the journey that the person has walked from very humble beginnings and back home I come from the Kalenjin community in my community when you are given a cow the first calf of the cow does not belong to you you give it away or you give it back to the person that gave you and you take the second calf as your calf. When I was sitting down here this evening, I had five degrees that were counted, but I only gave him four because the first one was not his. That was for his parents. <laughs> I have a lot to say about my brother here. We have come a long way. I remember Helda said that he met in 2004 and I met him in 1995. Praise the Lord! It's almost 30 years ago. Dr. K. Today, we gather here not just to commemorate the achievement of my husband, but to celebrate the culmination of years marked by dedication, resilience, and unwavering passion for knowledge. Before you is not just a graduate, but a man who amidst the challenges of raising three young children, you know them, providing spiritual leadership, 
and navigating our academic pursuit managed to carve out time for this remark remarkable achievement. This journey was far from effortless. Nights filled with towering stacks of books and the aroma of coffee. Early mornings with discuss enough sleep and moments of doubt all were part of the narrative. Yet, you persevered skillfully, balancing parenthood and study, finding harmony between responsibilities and intellectual exploration. I personally witnessed your love for knowledge and your inspiration to contribute to a better world. You didn't merely read about the world, but you engaged with it with your mind ceaselessly seeking connection and drawing insights from life's challenges. Throughout it all, your devotion to our family remained steadfast. You were physically present, supportive, and we made sure that we understood the depth of your affection. You continue to be an inspiration to our children exemplifying the significance of hard work, dedication, and the pursuit of knowledge as you hold this well-deserved degree today. My heart swells with immense pride. You are not just a husband, but a partner, a colleague, and an intellectual. Your academic journey has said our lives that words cannot fully capture. This graduation is not a conclusion though, it is the inception of new chapter, brimming with possibilities, equipped with knowledge, passion, and unwavering spirit. I am confident you will persist in making meaningful impacts on the world. I salute you for the milestone achieved. May your future be adorned with joy, purpose and an relenting pursuit of truth. I will always stand by your side, cheering you on at every turn. May you be a blessing not only to our family but to humanity as well. Congratulations my husband, Dr. Pastor Obati. Success has no permanent home address. Success does not have a permanent home address. Success came there to find you out. That's why right now we can call you Pastor Dr. Josiah Ombat. Today I'm here to congratulate a man that has worked so hard. So I understand the road that he has worked because I have. It's not easy. It's a hard work, determination, resilience, persistence. You have to be able to start. You can't finish if you didn't start. So you have to start. And today I'm here to celebrate you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you for the very kind words of encouragement. And indeed, I'm delighted to stand before your presence, distinguished guests, guests ladies and gentlemen, and the church family. I'm really humbled with your very kind words of encouragement. And I sincerely want to extend my profound appreciation to each one of you. First of all, I want to thank God for enabling me to travel 
this academic journey. Just like men have alluded, it's not an easy journey. They talk from experience, they know it, they have been there before, and they know how difficult it is. I just want to appreciate that God has been guiding me, and it is by His grace that I have traveled this far. I also want to appreciate my beloved wife who has stood behind and of course besides me in my academic journey. Suddenly without her unwavering support, this journey could have been just a mere dream. Thank you, my beloved wife. Let us put our hands together to appreciate her. Please, could you be stand? Could you be stand? Okay, clap for her. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I know I made a promise when I walked down the aisle about 15 years ago when I was marrying you that I would love you and I want to make it certain today that I will continue to love you. Of course, you know I've not stopped. I'm still loving you. Amen. Amen. That's great. Uh, well, my success story is not complete without making reference to history. As David Macro stated, I quote him, history is who we are and why we are where we are. End of the quote. We must make reference to history. It will never be complete if I do not talk about my humble beginnings, how I was nurtured by my own parents, though destitute, financial destitute. I saw that encouragement in them. They had these beautiful thinking thoughts towards me that one day I will be a somebody in terms of education. And so, though my father is departed, because I am a pastor, I do not believe that I will, um, I will talk to him while he's gone. But I, I believe I am talking to my mom who is living that she has lived to see their dream come true. So I owe this to my beloved mother in addition to my wife. Dear friends, my journey has been punctuated with tears of joy, sleepless nights, writing papers, several papers, a city where defending dissertations, corrections, revisions after visions. It hasn't been an easy job either. At some point, you, you are tempted to give up. But you know, if you are fortunate to have beautiful professor, like the one I, have, I had was my chairman uh, in my dissertation committee, he could tell you that I know you will make it, but we can't let you go until you do the right thing. I did it. It wasn't by my own power, but by God's grace. At some point, you could think like what you know Achebe tells us in his beautiful book, things fall apart. You could think that things have fallen apart, but we could again stand up and piece up the pieces, put things together, and then try to make the journey appear a little attractive as it were. But all this, it has never been easy. Why to note for God's guidance? Ladies and gentlemen, I am grateful that my story 
is one of the good stories that has been chronicled in the 21st century, particularly in the year 2023. I know in the future when we make reference to the annals of history, somebody somewhere will find a Dr. Josiah Umpati in the annals of history. Finally, I am Dr. Umpati. Is not a gift. You know, salvation is a gift, but this is by sheer hard work. And of course, as a pastor, I don't want to forget to say that it is because by God's grace. Yes, I accept that I am Dr. Pastor Josiah Umbati. So feel free to address me. Never should you doubt that I'm Dr. Umbati. Never should you doubt that I'm Pastor Umbati. Whichever comes first is accepted. Amen. Nothing has changed. I am the same person. What I have increased is the horizon of my knowledge on other things. Amen. That we know. But we know God is going to use us mightily to do his job. I know today, when I look back, I know nothing happens without dreaming. It is important, it is imperative that guys, you dream big. It doesn't matter how long it will take you. The question is not whether you will get there, but it is when you will get there. If you get determined, despite the many years I have spent in reading books, in doing some research here and there. Sooner than later you find my publications. Uh, I hope to write a few books here and there on some few issues in society because that's what sociology is all about. I'm a love of research. I'm a researcher per se. I teach research uh, most of the time. That's what I love. I love interpreting the numbers, the statistics thing. So that is my love. It is close to my heart research in social uh, science. I love that so much. So I look forward to use this knowledge that I have been given freely. Freely in the sense that God gave me good health and he gave me understanding because I have so many people including those who are white in skin drop from class. At times things could be hard. People take as many as 5, 6, 10 years. Others don't even complete their PhDs. Am I right? That is right. Those who have traveled there, they know what it is. It is not something easy. That I must tell you. But it is doable. It is not easy, but it is. It is doable. You can do it if you become determined. So, I have learned uh, one of the things uh, that this Kenyan actress uh, Lupita Nyong'o, you know Lupita Nyong'o, the, the, this daughter of Professor, Professor Nyong'o in Kenya, she said something very interesting and she made this statement that no matter, I quote her, no matter where you are from, your dreams are valid. It doesn't matter where you come from. You may fall down today. The road may be bumpy. At times you may experience so many storms. But I want you to know that your dreams are what? Are valid. You can pursue them if you want. Do not be discouraged. If you did some paper, you failed. You didn't make it. Do not be discouraged. Go out. Go again, study. Do not quit. Quit us. God is not meant that you become a quitter in anything. He has given you extraordinary power, extraordinary brains to do. You can do anything and everything if you think you can. If you think you can, you can. Convince your mind, your thinking that you can. At times, people get so perplexed. Those of you who happen to see the pictures that were posted on that wall, you could uh, see uh, white people from the beginning 
but towards the end, you could only see a short black guy. Did you see that? Short black guy. Every one of them could look at me. Oh, what did you write about? What was your dissertation about? I, 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 I thought maybe they were doubting whether I'd really men. But by God's grace, it doesn't matter where you come from. I believe our dreams are still valid. Pursue your dreams. To the young people who are here, your dreams are valid. There is none here who is really aged who cannot do anything if you wanted to do something. I want to tell you that your dreams, ladies and gentlemen, are valid. Pursue them. To this end, I could like to gratefully appreciate the many individuals who contributed to my academic journey, particularly in my graduate studies. Even though they are not present here, I could give special thanks to the people who served in my dissertation committee, Dr. Mohammed Sadri, who was the chairman, Dr. Williams, who was the co-chair, Dr. Yang and Dr. Bones, who are members of my dissertation committee. I immensely benefited from their scholarship and I will do my best to mentor the young generation. Our distinguished guests who came here today, Dr. Sam Bore, who just left, Dr. Cornelius, Dr. Agnes Aondo, I thank you for honoring my invitation. Thank you for coming and I feel humbled by your presence. It is so encouraging. Your presence and your words of wisdom have empowered me. In fact, as a matter of fact, what Dr. 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 Sam said, I live here. He taught me. I live here knowing that I know nothing. I've read those philosophies for a long time, Aristotle, Plato, and all that. In fact, the more you read, as a matter of fact, the more you read, the more you know that you don't know anything. Because you will find there are so many things that are supposed to be known, and then you will discover how little you know. But when you've not read enough, even the small things, you will always think that the world has fallen apart because of your, your achievement. I know. Like they say, the higher you go, the cooler it does work. It becomes. That's what they say. So, I want to appreciate you. To the church family, Amazing Grace, Metro Community Church, I want to thank you. God bless you for your kind gesture, especially the Amazing Grace Church, for your kindness. I know you prepared all this through the leadership of uh, uh, my, my, my chairman here, Mr. Isaac, please, could you be upstanding? Give him a clap. I didn't know anything, but if he planned with a few people. He said, Pastor, we're going to have a graduation party for you as a child. They came together. They did all this. I contributed nothing. In fact, I am like you are. I just came also as a guest. I didn't know anything. They did great things. I am humbled my brothers and sisters for your kind gesture towards me. God bless you so much. God bless you so much. To my family, I am indebted to your steadfast support during my academic journey. I want to say I am here. Though I've been so busy because of the involvement of books and all that, now I am available. I know I will have a job of writing, publishing and all that. But that one, I can do it when I have my free time. It is not like that time which is scheduled. Scheduled. The British English schedule. You know, when you are supposed to, you are like a robot. You must turn in your assignment 11.59. It is usually 11.59 p.m. I don't know. Every time, those who have gone to school, you are told not later. I also tell my students, not later than 11.59 p.m. Anything, you can just start coming up, say hi to him, and give us 
your present. Just gonna ask, please, please. We are few. If we can all come to the front, if everybody can stand up, please. Everybody at the back door is so serving food. If you can come to the front, let's cut this cake. But in this space, so Martha will come. Apparently, now we are going to know the favorite verse of pass. The favorite book for pass is which one? Chapter. Verse. One and two.